Hello and welcome to MyCADSite.com and this tutorial video is going to show the basics of text in AutoCAD just to show some of the things you can do and it's very quick and easy to work with so I'm just going to type in text that starts the command so that I can start typing on the screen so all I have to do is uh, set a point where it's going to start and specify the height and the rotation angle and I can start typing and here's a sample of the standard text when you open up AutoCAD and if you have a look at it you'll see it's well very basic very boring and well kinda of ugly so what we're gonna do is get rid of this and create our own text style by typing in ST so you can see the standard text is what the default is now and the font is the standard TXT now I'm going to change that to Romans, which is a standard AutoCAD shape file. It comes standard with every installation, so you'll be able to change to this as well. And so I'm going to apply it and set it to be current and close. So now when I type, type in text, start the command, and same thing, type in sample, and you see I get a much cleaner looking text and this is a lot easier to read and a lot nicer to look at so there's your very basic uh, way of putting in text this is a single line text but you can also put in multi-line text and also work with different types of fonts so I'm just going to also show you that you can justify your text so I've drawn a rectangle and I better put it on the correct layer so now I type in text and instead of just going to the part where I select the start point I want to center it inside the box so I've typed in J for justify MC for middle center and then I select the middle point of that box and now I've got the text height I'm going to make it just a bit smaller from one unit down to point six rotation angle will be zero and now I can type my text and it is perfectly centered within the rectangle that I drew and this is a very good way to get your text looking good in the drawing instead of just appearing to be randomly placed so work with different uh, justifications and now I'm going to put in uh, another type I can changing my style and here I've got the different styles listed so I can uh, choose from either standard or MCS so I go style MCS and pick a start point and it's got a default height of 3 I want to change that to make it a little smaller to fit in the uh, drawing space I've got going and that is my MCS text which is the same as what I've got advertising my CAD site dot com on the right side of the screen so I've erased that so now I've just typed in T enter and this will bring in M text or multi-line text and this allows me to do uh, some more formatting and create actual paragraphs instead of a single line at a time and so these multiple lines will be uh, just one unit one object and I can just have the one type of text per M text object and you see I can underline it I can put italics and this is actually a very simple word processor if you've used Microsoft Word you'll be very familiar with some of the options you'll have available here so this allows me to do a more complete and uh, better looking paragraph of text and just as a note in AutoCAD usually uh, uppercase is the standard for all your notes and dimensions and any other text that you have in the drawing so I can just keep it going and the border tells me where it's going to be now if I click outside of that box and you'll see I can now do just grab a grip 
and it'll change depending on where I put it and change the paragraph with it as well. So this gives me a lot of power. I can change it and now I've gone back to the standard text and you see it's still one object and I can just take that and move it around or I can edit it and there's the uh, bar you see it's just kind of floating I can change the width factor and make my letters a little thinner and it's also a good trick for when you're putting in uh, in a limited amount of space if you go from uh, width factor of 1 to probably 0.7 you can still keep the text fairly readable and there's other options I can justify each paragraph just like in a word processor and uh, here I can make it just kind of spread out to the full width of the box but you can see that it doesn't really keep it looking that good if you've got short sentences and even as I change the size of the box it'll keep everything spread out to the full boundaries of my mtext box so that gives you a few options on text and uh, just experiment with it get used to it and watch your spelling thanks for watching mycadsite.com